morning um well it is morning for me while i'm doing this i am in the main bedroom um the guys have gone out really early hubby was working overtime our son is working out of town he's gone to leicester he's covering the branch there so um i'm nice and comfortable don't have any else what you see what you get i keep saying this and i like to be comfortable I've got no lippy on, I don't very often wear makeup, and I've just got a long t-shirt on, this is says mom, I've got two of these, um, these came from America, and I just got my woolen leggings on and um, socks, that I've got the grip on because I am on laminated flooring, um, as you might have seen in my previous video, I have got my jumper here, that's clean, believe it or not um especially with all the dust and everything because i am emptying under the bed sorry if i keep looking down i want to make sure i'm not chopping my head off or anything hopefully the volume's okay any talking i have to do i have to hold this so it might be a little bit shaky i'm having a um not an expensive one but hubby's ordered me a mic for my birthday so that might help with the vlogging a little bit and um you know just general chats and everything so i'm trying to you know address that issue i have got oh, i don't want to blind you this makes a lot of difference this wasn't expensive this is only 20 pounds as i said i had this for christmas i haven't got any expensive equipment i often use my actual iphone for filming so it's not going to be the best quality um but and sometimes I use the GoPro if we're out and about, whatever, you know, especially traveling. So I have brought that up a number of times. I have no expensive equipment. It's only just recently I've had the light uh, for Christmas and I'm having a small mic, which is not expensive. We're going to try it out and see if that works. Hubby wanted to buy me a camera and I said no i because i know they can run hundreds of pounds and i said not at this time i said this when i first um actually started youtube that um you know i wasn't gonna invest in expensive equipment because i didn't know whether i would actually um continue with um you know youtube whether it was something i could really do but i have so there is that um so at some point maybe i mean i've got the gopro um which i could use because obviously that's better quality than even my phone but i'm managing so that is the one thing um so i have taken the mats up yeah i've got all my wipes ready i've cleared this so i can put things on here to sort and i'm still finding even though i hoovered look because it gets in the rugs and everything I'm still finding bits from the tree and I think I haven't made our bed because I'm going to start by, um, you know, stripping the bed because I want to put clean bedding on. But what I do is I want to get under the bed done, I think, first. Um, it might seem strange because I was dusting yesterday. Normally, I make the bed or strip the bed, remake it with clean bedding, then dust. But... I'd rather have all the bedding off so I can wash it. Might put the furry set on, um, which is like that blanket there. Hubby missed that. Um, he loved it. I didn't think he would. I've mentioned this before. I could have brought a lovely um, Christmas set actually from Primark before I went on my no spend. And that was fur. And I said to a friend when we was in Primark, I said, no, hubby will say it's too hot. And then a few, what was it, a day, two days later maybe, even that, I got a set from Wilco's because I had vouchers. So there we are. Um, so I'm going to do under the bed. Sometimes you might, if there's any comments, yeah, sometimes I get a towel. Um, it depends on how frequently I've also dusted an area. Especially you might see me lay on the bed because I do that if I feel that there might be dust on things. 
um it might seem strange and yes i try and dust regularly but i don't know about anybody else very often i only dust once a week in our bedroom should have been more let me know if you dust even more it depends if something needs dusting i'll do it normally technology like tvs and everything their stands and everything because they attract static doesn't it static attracts dust but very often i only do this but sometimes in the summer yes i probably do it more depending on the time of year because windows are open and you get particles even with nets up you get particles come in it all depends how i feel on the day and also what actually needs doing but our bedroom does get cleaned once a week bedding gets done once a week sometimes i've known to do it three even every day when we've had really bad heat um yeah because i just love you know clean bedding on i love it so she i've brought this up a number of times once you've washed it and you can hang it out and bring it in that's when i know spring summer's here and i can do that but enough waffling because i think most of this video will probably be um to music I may do some explaining um, through the video, either writing or talking and explain things because I have got storage boxes under the bed, um, which I want to try and thin down as much as I can at some point. I have got two that's got like photos, photo frames and things like that. Um, that's actually got photos in i've also got two boxes down here if you can see those in plastic they've actually got like cuddly toys and everything and then if i try not make you giddy i'm trying to say and explain what i'm doing now due to the fact once i get going i don't have anybody else i don't want to stop i do have there is the Christmas um, wrapping station box so yeah so I, I've got a bit of sorting out to do so hopefully I'm not shaking you about making you giddy so I'm gonna get on now um, because obviously I've got so much to do I have actually put the day aside to do this project don't know how far I'm going to get. It depends on how I feel, how things go, because I'm not rushing things. May end up sitting down and um, sorting, you know, drawers out or something like that in between. But there is the problem is I've got Hobby's um, wardrobe as well. And the last thing he wants to do basically is come off a long shift and be badgered. <laughs> But what I normally do, he usually leaves it to me. He doesn't mind. I have said this before. I normally um, sort through it if it's not a days off and um, pull out what I think he can comfortably get rid of. And then I'll just say to him, you know, while he's having his cup of tea, after he's had his bath made for his dinner, I will say yay or nay to things. Very often he says, just get rid of it. He trusts me so there we are so that's what normally happens when it comes to his stuff if there's things that he needs to try on depending on how tired it is he will try it on or i will have to put a note on it and he will try it on when he's off if that makes sense because i know there might be some comments thinking you're doing a lot of work but then again i don't work um hobby and my son work extremely long hours and I try and do as much as I can, um, not badger them, but I don't like being holed up too long, different areas like those wires. I mean, he didn't look very happy, but he was okay. He got it done um, when he was having his cup of tea, um, just to sort through those two drawers, because I was, there's going to be a time that if I wait on hubby or our son to go through anything, I'm going to end up with a umpteen drawers boxes question marks and you don't get anywhere but at least my stuff I can comfortably go through it as I said I'm pretty trustworthy and I wouldn't get rid of anything of that belongs to them unless they've said yay or nay so let's get on 
enough natter and I hate to think how long I've nattered on and let's get on with this project.
Okay, these are the items that are leaving our home today. Um, so I will share this at some point. I am actually um, sort of cutting down the red around our home. We've had red now from just before we were married. So back in 1987, we've always had red touches in the dining room and the kitchen. So I'm going away from that. And it's like cream, black and white and that sort of things and touches grey. So those three things are sort of from like the um, dining area. Um, through the photographs, I haven't got time to go through the photographs at the moment, so that would be at a later date. But I picked out two frames that I forgot was in the box and that little um, lilac one there. That's just some rubbish. I've got three movies that have been watched. They, they're going now. We actually watched um, Bird and a Wire last night with Mel Gibson and Goldie Hawn in. Um, this is only a portion. This is three of the larger school photographs to go to our eldest son. I'm still finding stuff that belongs to him. So that's going to be leaving our home. And then, as you've probably seen from footage, I've replaced the hat, scarf and gloves that I'm using now. And just a few little cuddly bits. Quite a few of my cuddly toys, for one reason or another, are sentimental. And um, some of them do belong to our boys as well. Two pairs of gloves, so I've got a lot of new gloves. Um, Christmas cards that I've held on to about three or four years now, because I do make all my cards. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Um, say 16 if I haven't said the cards I'm not sure so I'll say 17 there so basically there's more than 17 items there but we'll call it 17 so hopefully you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye